if you love gardening and if you love growing your own food, if you have ever thought about growing your own garlic or failed in doing it, this video is for you. Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. We have grown garlic on our farm for the past four years and this year's harvest was the first harvest that I was really really happy with. I want to share some basics with you about the garlic in itself that will really give you the understanding for how you have to grow it and what is necessary for it. So here we go. So here I wrote down seven points that I think are very important for anybody who um, has attempted to grow garlic and hasn't succeeded or for anybody who wants to do it for the first time. The most important point in my opinion is to understand the garlic's inner clock. Um, garlic is like any seed, like any plant, a totally fascinating um, creation you have an information based system here. You see, a seed in general and even this garlic, garlic clove is completely controlled by the information that is stored in it. If I break this clove, the, the information is lost just the way you would break a hard drive on a computer and the information would be gone. But the information that is in here controls everything. There is enough information in this clove and even in the tiniest of seeds that it knows how to set roots, how to grow, when a leaf is supposed to come, when when it's time to to flower, when it's time to to produce the fruit. All that information is stored in the clove or in a in, in whatever little seed you have. Now what's really important for us to understand is the, the natural cycle, the inner clock that controls the garlic plant. And for that I have to talk about how wild garlic grows. Wild garlic grows completely by itself, which is very obvious, but nobody harvests it, nobody plants it, and it grows fine. It has grown like that before the humankind ever used the first garlic. Now, how does the garlic do that? When does the garlic know when to grow and everything? So let's say we have November now, the time is getting colder. The garlic plant, the wild garlic plant has been, has been sitting in the ground. Let's use this one. The leaves are withered and everything. And the, the soil temperature has been warm because it was summer, it was the end of summer. The garlic is ripe and the soil temperature is warm. And that means for the garlic that it, is, that it is summer break, it's summer rest. So the garlic doesn't do anything, it just sits in the ground and, and all that happens because the soil is wet is that these uh, layers here of, 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 I don't know if you say skin or whatever, they, they, they rot away so to speak. So, but the garlic just sits in the ground because the temperature is warm. Now, the garlic's inner clock says the temperature is getting colder and when it falls underneath 10 degrees centigrade, I'm not really sure what that is, maybe it's in the 50s somewhere, if it falls below that, the garlic knows now it's fall, winter is on its way, my job now is to set roots. So that's what, what the garlic does. Now on farms where you actually harvest the garlic and then you don't plant the whole garlic back, you plant an individual clove back, that means that the roots come out on the bottom and before the frost comes, after the summer rest period, the garlic sets its roots. So that's all it does in the fall. So and what is really important is that you don't plant your garlic too early we come to planting time afterwards. Let me stick with the inner clock. So you have the roots being set by the garlic plant 
in fall. Then the frost comes, the ground freezes, it gets quite cold, but the roots are already in the ground. The garlic now knows it's winter time, it's time for winter rest. So the garlic doesn't do anything. But then when the temperature rises again and goes above the freezing, above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, above zero degrees Celsius, the garlic knows now it's time to grow upwards. So that's what the garlic does. As soon as the temperature actually goes above freezing, the garlic starts growing slowly. That's amazing. That's one of my favorite things just in the spring. The first thing I see when there's still snow and ice is the garlic starting to come out of the ground. You know, when there's no green around you, it's just fascinating. So the garlic grows. As soon as the temperature goes a little higher, it really starts to, to pick up speed in its growth. And then by May, you are actually able to harvest your first fresh garlic. You can actually eat the whole, the whole plant. You can cut it up like you would um, do with green onion, for example. And then in July is when the garlic is full grown. The, the actual garlic, all the cloves, they first gain in size um, a lot. A lot of the size is first gained the last month. So, so middle of May, let's say till July. Um, so in July you harvest your garlic. There's some early, um, early varieties. There's some later varieties, but I will talk about it later when we come to the point harvest time. But that's when you, uh, when you take it out of the ground. Now the wild garlic would remain in the ground, and when it's full grown, it knows now again. It's warm soil. It's summer rest. So the inner clock again says, now you can stop growing and you wait till the temperature falls again below 50 or below 10 degrees Celsius and that's when the garlic will start growing again. I know this is a lot uh, of theoretical information here, but it's very, very important for us to understand so we understand how garlic grows and how we have to mimic that and give that garlic this time.